What is a company that you refuse to support? What is your reason for this? The Wounded Warrior Project. They claim to help veterans, yet only about 10% of donations actually get used for veterans. They have been caught throwing outlandishly expensive parties for themselves. They are also quite mafia-like. They will sue any other organizations that have a logo or name faintly similar to theirs. Do the research and give to the many other organizations that give 80-100% of donations to help those who need it. My general rule is if I see them run a TV ad, they are not to be trusted. Watching daytime news channel like Fox, CNN, ETC, you can almost guarantee which of the charities you'll see with ads targeting old, retired folk watching TV at that time. Bayer Medical knowingly shipped frick tons of hemoglobin that they knew was infected with HIV to third world markets so they wouldn't have to dump it all and lose money. There were a few other companies doing the same thing but Bayer was the biggest offender. This is all documented and factual, not a theory. Susan G. Komen. I'm all for funding breast cancer research. In fact my mother has had breast cancer twice. But when you see smaller charity groups and run their programs into the ground because they say the cure somewhere when they're trying to promote their small event is just crap. At that point you've become more concerned about your brand and the machine that is SGK than actually helping people. It really bothers me. Dang. Obligatory didn't expect this to blow up and yada yada yada. Thanks for the gold stranger. Magnolia Bakery. Met the CEO while pitching work to him. He was a complete butthole. We walk into the room and he starts with, what do you want? Are you trying to sell me something? Yes. We discussed why we would be coming in over email. Well then, my boss grabs his computer to show a small slide presentation. And the guy stops him dead in his tracks. Are you going to show me freaking slides? At this point, I looked over at my boss and we just kinda knew that it was time to go. We had no desire to work with this butthole. He was the CEO of a bakery. What the frick? He must have just finished reading the Steve Jobs biography. Plus their cupcakes suck. Yahoo. Suckers deleted years of my email with no option of recovery. Unless I pee off the NSA and then they can find it or something. It was my primary account for about 6 years and then a secondary which I used as an archive. Never again. I won a contest on Twitter by Castro Oil for tickets to a race. The tickets never showed. I asked and didn't hear anything until I raised a stink. They promised to look into it and make it right. And never said another thing. Even after I blew them up on Twitter. I'll never put Castrol in my car. Ever. There has to be an authority on this. I know radio stations get in a frick ton of trouble if they do a contest and don't give away what they say they will to the winners. Wounded Warrior Project. Same reason as Susan G. Komen. I've had friends hurt, who needed all kinds of help from financial assistance to help with travel to other facilities. Nothing. But here's a cool backpack with our logo. YT doesn't work on that. Any multi-level marketing company. I've seen people lose a ton of money even though they originally just wanted to buy something and not actually join. The whole business model seems too cult-like for my tastes. I came here to say this. And I don't know if it's a misconception in my part or if these companies are MLMs. But frick all of the crap sold by consultants through Facebook parties. Among people my age where I live. That stuff like Jamberry, Lularo, Advocate Beach Body Shackology. That stuff I probably wasn't going to buy. But now I won't even try because of the way it's marketed. Pep Boys. They installed a new radiator in my car. I had to drive 200 miles the next day, got to my destination and noticed a leak. I brought to a different pep boys and had them take a look at it. They told me that my water pump gasket had gone bad. I asked why this wasn't found during a pressure test. No answer. The manager tells me that he will pay for the part if I paid for the labor. That wasn't going to happen. Ironically, I never saw the leak after that. That tells me that it was a loose connection as I suspected. They just tightened it up but didn't want to admit that they made a mistake. I will never step foot in a pep boys again just for the fact that they lied to me. If they had told me the truth, I would gladly shop there. I went to pep boys cause my check engine light was on. 
They plugged the scanner in and told me it was some sensor that needed to be replaced and wanted $200 just for labor. I bought a part online for $10 and brought it to a family owned shop in town. The guy replaced it in less than 5 minutes and refused to take any money from me cause all he did was plug something in. Susan G. Komen. Me and many other high risk breast cancer survivors don't support them. They aren't as great as they seem and they get so happy over the phrase for the cure. They are money grabbers under a large cause, who didn't want to help my grandma when we reached out to them. Me, my mom, and my grandmother, who is lacking a boob thanks to cancer, give our money to other organizations who care more about the people they help than the money that goes into their pockets. Agreed. I think it's best to try and support cancer research as opposed to cancer awareness. Ticketmaster. Their fees are absurd. I'd rather go to the venue and buy the ticket there than pay their ridiculous service fee. EA. They bought exclusive rights to the NFL and 2K Sports, who had the superior NFL franchise, was unable to make a football game. Now all we have is crappy Madden. Took Madden like 5 years to get things and that 2K Sports was already doing. EA Sports it's super lame. Yelp. Business model is based off extorting small businesses to buy you sales advertising at about $300 per month in exchange. They don't delete their good reviews and leave the bad ones. Awful terrible company. Possibly the most evil business model in existence that not enough people are aware of. The Sun newspaper. Blamed Liverpool supporters for the tragedy at Hillsborough suggesting supporters were stealing items from dead people's pockets etc. Even though it came out that it was the police's poor planning and police officer lied on witness statements. I'm a United fan but when it comes to crap like this it doesn't matter where people's lives are concerned. Frick the sun. This is inaccurate. The scum is most definitely not a newspaper. Scrolled all the way to the bottom and never saw Milan. The company that owns EP pens. Basically operating on fear. They know that the customer's choice is either pay the price or die. Some people can't afford an EP pen and are risking anaphylactic attacks because the company has a monopoly on a medication. Spirit Airlines. They have had some in-flight engine issues, and I like living. But their advertising campaigns are hilarious. MILF special men in islands. Low fares. Threesomes. Three sales in one. Muff special. Many unbelievably fantastic fares. Don't be blue, slide down to low fares with double fisted savings. After Rob Ford, flight to Toronto for $29.99. We're not smoking crack. SMH, Spirit Air, why do you do these things? These sound like radio ads from GTA. AMC, because of what they did to Frank Darabont. Frank Darabont is a fantastic filmmaker, directed both The Shawshank Redemption and The Green Mile, who helped create and bring life to the first season of The Walking Dead. A lot of people referred to it as his baby, and you could see why. The cast and crew were made up of some of his best friends, and he was genuinely surprised that the first season did so well, even with the zombie crazy world we live in. So after a critically acclaimed, record-breaking first season, what did AMC do? Well. They cut the budget. They wanted 13 episodes instead of 6. They even suggested if sometimes the zombies could be heard but not seen to save money or makeup. They got greedy. But through this, Frank tried his best. He stretched 6 comic book issues into 13 episodes. This was later trashed by AMC. He asked his best friends to take pay cuts. And they did. Anything AMC said, he tried his best to meet their needs. And what did AMC do? Two days after a visit to Comic Con, they fired him, and his friends, now with reduced wages, stayed because their contracts had just been finalized. I only really watched the first couple episodes of The Walking Dead, but AMC took away any interest I had in ever watching it again. Ever wonder why the whole Negan thing felt so stretched out? My guess is, that's not what the writers wanted to do. I know everyone's always like the show isn't about the walkers but I'm not gonna lie. I love the walkers in season 1, and the whole CDC thing. Nestle used to be a client of mine. I had to go to a meeting with their internal PR team or corporate affairs. And by meeting, I mean, propaganda session. Basically had to sit around for 2 hours listening to them talk about how Nestle's not trying to privatize the world's water supply and how Nestle doesn't kill babies. 
3 stroke 10 wouldn't do it again. I'd like to start out by saying that my company do not kill babies. Lawyer mumbles something. Oh, that we're not responsible for baby deaths. Lawyer mumbles. Passet. The beers for all the insane crap they've done to people over the years in the diamond trade. Though it's mostly due to my crippling aloneness. I'll never pay for your diamonds. But you need a diamond ring if you want to get married. Like I said, never gonna pay. Soon to be Sony. Their customer service is the absolute worst I've ever had to deal with. My PSN account was hacked recently. You might argue that I should have set up two step verification. Fair enough. I didn't even know it was an option because I don't pay too much attention to the updates. The only way they could have gotten my password for PSN is if there was a breach on their end. I've never logged onto my PSN account via PC and my passwords are different for all of my accounts. What happened is my sign in ID was changed. My email was no longer attached to the account. Went through a heck with their phone support and not being able to understand the three different reps I spoke with. First one hung up on me because the email he had tied to my account was different from the one that is currently registered. Yeah, no crap guy. That's why I'm calling you. Second guy walked me through a process and then told me to call back in a couple hours because their password recovery tools were down. Bulls, called back 5 minutes later and spoke to someone that told me my account was banned because they noticed someone signing in from a different country. It had to be forwarded to a specialist and I would hear back within 48 hours. Didn't hear back after 48 hours. Spoke with a live chat rep. Same deal. 48 hours. Still nothing. Spoke to another rep on the phone after I noticed some charges were made and issued a charge back. They told me that in order to get my account back I have to pay back what was charged back because it was my fault that my account was breached. Their suggestion? To go to my local game retailer and buy the amount I owed. 200. In PSN credits. Frick you. So I go to the PS4 subreddits to see if anyone else has had similar issues and I'm 99% sure that sub is run by Sony shills that will downvote anything even remotely negative about the company and berate you for asking support questions. So here I am, a week later. I owe them 200 bucks for my account getting hacked. It took 5 reps for me to get a straight answer on what the problem was, and was hung up on by one rep and lied to buy another. What the frick Sony? Nestle. Anything they do. The entire corporation. The only corporation that is more regularly evil than Nestle is Philip Morris. It's like they only know how to exploit people. Starbucks. Former employee. The crap that goes on is ridiculous. And nobody cares. Problems are happened throughout all the levels of management. But it doesn't compare to the unethical practices they engage in. One notable story is their use of Ethiopia coffee. It turned out that several of their Ethiopian blends didn't use beans from that country. So Ethiopia attempted to get them to either remove their name from the coffee blends or pay them royalties. Ethiopia sued Starbucks. So what did this large conglomerate do? They delayed the lawsuit any way they could. Pushing back the dates for months. Racking up legal fees. They did this until Ethiopia couldn't afford to pursue the matter any further, so the suit was dismissed. That's Starbucks in a nutshell. That's any corporation with large enough cash reserves flow in a nutshell. Victoria's Secret. Employees are disposable and they're literally Walmart wrapped in pink laced thongs. At least where I worked. We're one of the largest stores on the west coast so they had high expectations for us. The fact that adults had to literally fear conversion which is basically a sensor detecting how many people walk out purchasing something. Had that at guess too. When families with small children came in, it was a nightmare. I remember our manager once asking a family to leave because of their kids running in and out of the store and messing up the conversion tracker. The whole thing felt annoying and pushy. As someone who does load crew, any company who has canned food that don't have interlocking lids. Even more so if half of their products have them and the others don't. Frick you Hormel. Facebook. After they phased out viewing messages on the Facebook app or even viewing messages on your mobile browser. Purely so people would download their messaging app. I don't want your crappy app. I know there are workarounds but this intentionally enforced inconvenience came across as so hostile I closed my account. Turns out I only used Facebook to look at old memes and stalk ex-girlfriends, so nothing of value was lost. 
any toll roads at all we pay taxes to the government for roads it's not our fault they freaking suck at budgeting and that for whatever reason making a layer of compacted earth and pavement has become the cost equivalent of flying to freaking mars toll roads should be illegal hewlett packard hp got my first notebook from them crappy customer support hard overpriced printer cartridges generally a lot of small problems with most of their devices i had to work with in the past i've been boycotting skittles ever since they got rid of the lime flavor i would save all the lemon and lime candies and eat them together but all that was ruined you give me green apple and still call it original well you can go frick yourself walmart they purposely arrange their employee hours to keep them in poverty and pay them lower than normal wages. They help their employees apply for state assistance. Basically they are gaming the system so the state taxes are supporting their business model. They aren't the only ones doing this but they have certainly perfected it. Same. I do not support Walmart. I worked at Walmart and Sam's Club for several years and can attest to the fact that they arrange hours to prevent benefits. I worked 40 hours a week for several years but was cut down to 20 hours for about 2 weeks once in a while so I couldn't be legally considered full time and earn benefits. Part time employee. Full time hours. No benefits. Verizon. I was with them for years and then all of a sudden I was getting strange charges on my bill. I brought my bill into 3 different Verizon stores and nobody that was working at any of the locations could tell me what the charges even meant, but I still had to pay them because the paper said so. I dropped them after the third store didn't have an answer. Nestle Water. They are literally stealing any fresh water source they can. Stealing I mean like 3 cents for hundreds of millions of liters. Even in California where there's such a drought, they kept on pumping away. Now moved up to Canada's side of the Great Lakes. Pisses me off so dang bad. ATMT. I'm a week or two away from being out finally. Deceptive marketing of next plans such as Next 12 where you are told you can get a new phone every year. How many payments do you think you need to make? 12 right it's in the name and that's a year. Actually the correct answer is 13. Also recently had family vacation abroad, AT&T refused to unlock our phones despite being a customer for 14 years and all phones were on next plans aka being financed at full price. They seemed to think that meant I was in a contract with them. My newly ported to Verizon iPhone I'm typing on disagrees. Frick AT&T. Worked for Verizon for over 2 years. Have also worked for Sprint, and have close friends that work for T-Mobile and AT&T. The general consensus is that all cellular providers are basically pure evil. People might downvote me, but the Red Cross, it really used to be a damn good charity, but it's gotten to be all about money and tons of disasters. Esp here in the USA they have severely come up short in their support, although they said they could. No charity or disaster relief is perfect, but for the amount of money they pull in, you see very little in return. The American Red Cross is crap but in other countries it's still a legitimate charity. The Canadian Red Cross is actually a good organization. I now refuse to buy a Chevrolet vehicle after their ads are not actors. Real people. It's the most irrationally upset I ever get but I hate everything about those stupid commercials so much. PETA. Spoiled little shoots trying to impose their worldview on others and causing the death and suffering of a lot of animals in the process. Abinbev. It's the empire of the beer world. Why? Because Budweiser is complete garbage. But that's my opinion. Really it's because of their business practices. Let's say you open a brewery and start distributing to liquor stores. If you gain any sort of market share they will implement one of two practices. One try to buy you out. Edit which is fine. Can't say I wouldn't take a paycheck with lots of commas. Two force stores to carry an exorbitant number of different packages of all their products and all the different bottle and concises and all the different package numbers. 6, 8, 10, 12, 18, 20, 24, 30. In addition to all their special edition cans, American flag, NASCAR, NFL, camouflage, you name it. What happens if they refuse to carry all those? They pull all their products from the store. Because they do such high volume, I guess someone is drinking it, they can sell for less and the store gets a larger margin of profit. 
My local liquor store owner says most of her money comes from the redneck wool because she gets it for so cheap she can mark it way up without anyone knowing her margin. Yes, I know this is probably just good ruthless business practice, but it pisses me off that I can't get certain things I want because they don't have the shelf room because Budweiser forces them to carry all those stupid packages. TL. DR. Abin Bev forces crappy beer on liquor store owners forcing out local quality passionate producers out of the distribution market sc johnson producer of scrubbing bubbles a product i was previously loyal to the owner to be samuel curtis was sentenced to four months in prison for sexual assaulting his stepdaughter at age 12. walmart they basically have given small business owners the wonderful gift of losing their business and the option of working for them at minimum wage as the trend continues they just get bigger and bigger. I refuse to contribute to the growth of that horrible monster. Competition is what this economy needs. Walmart is one of the biggest reasons for the decline of our middle class. Origin EA. Because they screwed me out of $200 in games. Some games kept getting removed from my account for no reason. The support staff restored my account. Then it disappeared again. They said to make a new account and buy them again. Nope. I refuse to use Origin ever again. BP. I'll never forgive them for the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Also they consistently have other oil explosions at other plants where more people die and clearly don't care. In fact, I don't much care about most oil companies, but BP the most. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Buy for now.